welcome back to my channel. So before I even jump into what the title of this video is, I want to apologize if the lighting, audio, the pixel, like resolution quality of this video is uh, subpar because right now I'm filming using my iPhone and unfortunately yesterday as I was doing a makeup tutorial out of nowhere, my trusty DSLR uh, just died, like literally, and it wasn't the battery. Uh, I really wanted to get the videos rolling and um, I'm shipping it out tomorrow to Canon so hopefully it comes back quickly but I just wanted to give a disclaimer so if you're new to my channel welcome I hope you stick around and if you're a longtime subscriber thank you so much for watching I love that you keep coming back to my channel and I hope that you will enjoy today's goodies that I have to share with all of you girls so if you haven't seen my where I've been where have I been did I quit YouTube which was like two videos ago go ahead and click this link here I shared with you all that I have been loving a couple of things in life particularly luxury goods and in today's video I want to share with you all the items that I've got from Louis Vuitton in the past two months and this by any means is not a brag video I'm sure you guys have heard it all before and so today's video is just kind of uh, a way of me kind of sharing with the community things I like and in the future I definitely plan to do in-depth reviews so all the items you see you'll see today I have purchased with my own money and I have bought them in September and October and some of them are brand new some of them are pre-loved and I'll share that all with you today so without any further ado let's jump into what is in these goodies so I'll start from smallest to largest and I'll start with the items that I bought brand new so in September in September I had one of my co-workers she traveled to Spain and some uh, like Louis Vuitton and a bunch of other uh, luxury or higher-end designers they are tend to be cheaper in Europe so when she was there I asked her she can kindly pick up a few things for me and she was able to get three of the items on my list and uh, they ended up being cheaper than I would have paid for here in the States and of course uh, without tax and I'll share them those ones first. So this was the first item she picked up for me and I will say that they did not she did not come back with the boxes she just came back with the item and the dust bags and um, because I had the receipt I went to the my local Louis Vuitton boutique and asked them if I could kindly have some boxes and they were more than happy to give it to me so this is the first item that I picked up and it is simply a cosmetic pouch in a monogram print and it has the beige interior wash with the washable lining I it is, doesn't come with this I just tend to keep all of my bag stuff so they can keep their shape basically I wanted something that I could use to hold my cosmetics and look like knickknacks in my purse and um, this kind of fit the bill. This is the smaller size of the two, and uh, they have a GM size, and I believe this is just called like a regular cosmetic pouch or a PM size. And in the United States, this retails for $360 plus tax, and I paid roughly $270 for this uh, brand new from Spain. And this one was made in France. So the second item I bought from Spain uh, also came, came, also came in this very nice packaging and I have been loving on front leather if that's any bit of a hint. I have a, um, a key pouch or a clay in noir uh, in, in the on front leather and I absolutely love the luxurious feel of it, the smell of it. It's just like it reminds, like it, to me that is Louis Vuitton. Of course the canvas prints are too but once I got that key pouch I knew I had to get a bigger item in on front and I'm going to share with it right now. I also didn't know I liked crossbody bags as much as I do, and so um, I did. I've gotten a couple of other crossbody bags, and I saw actually one of my patient's parents, her mom's, had this bag, and I just thought it was so chic and so effortless. And that bag is the Louis Vuitton Empreinte uh, Twice in the color noir it's also been called the twin set but i believe currently on their website they are calling it the twice and it has a crossbody uh strap okay with beautiful i mean the detailing on this bag is like impeccable like, it's just a lovely darling bag that i absolutely love you can use it as a clutch like when i initially took it out the, the dust bag and i showed you um but it has uh it's called the twice i believe because it has uh two large pockets you have a front one with a snap closure and the snap closure is pretty darn sturdy and 
The back one is also uh, quite spacious as well, and they both are lined with the microfiber uh, lining. And then you also kind of have this nice hidden compartment in, right in the middle of the two, and it has a really nice, strong magnetic closure. And uh, you can, I usually tend to put my phone in here the few times that I've used this bag. So really love it. I think it's really classy and clean, and it's a great introduction for a to an on-front piece. And in terms of price, the uh, twice an on-front leather retails for $14.40 here in the States, and I was able to purchase this um, from Spain for $11.80. So the last item my dearest friend was able to pick up for me at uh, from Spain is a bag that I needed for every day and it's a very, very popular bag. Uh, I got it in a classic print and I got a the GM size because I am a larger girl and wanted something to fit the bill. So I needed a very good everyday tote and I was fortunate enough to have her pick up for me a Neverfull GM in monogram and this was also made actually all the pieces were made in Spain so I was really happy I mean excuse me all the pieces were made in France so I was really excited about that um, but I chose to get the uh, a really classic I'm all about like classic I don't know like, I, mean, I do like color but I didn't mind like too much color so I decided to get the bag in beige and the newer models unfortunately do not have the literally um, print or font on the Neverfulls, but it's still beautiful. It smells amazing. It did come with the uh, pochette, the detachable uh, pochette, and this one was also made uh, in France. And uh, the date codes on these are not like exactly the same, so I guess they were, they were made at different times, but they're both from 2016. And this bag, I won't go too much in detail about it because I'm, I mean, this is all over YouTube. And this bag retails for $13.40 here in the States and I was able to pick it up for $10.85. So I love this bag, I have been using it, but I just kind of package it up really nicely for this video. And in the future when I do review this, all the items individually, I'll speak more in detail about this some more of an organizer that I put inside the purse just to keep it clean and organized. So it just sits in here. I have a space for my water bottles. I have a pocket for my uh, laptop here. So I uh, love this bag and really, really, really happy she was able to pick it up for me. So those are the three items from Spain. One more thing about this, I did did treat all the, because these are brand new items, I did treat all the Vachetta uh, leather, the Vachetta leather, which is basically anything that is light in color like this. I did treat it with Apple Guard, which is a, um, like a stain and water repellent so that we don't get, I don't get markings on this, on the Vachetta leather. So I also mentioned this in my last, in my life updates video that the big thing that kind of kept me away from YouTube the past couple of months was a big test that I was taking uh, to become board certified and just wanted to share with you guys that I passed. I passed by the grace of God and uh, I'm happy that my efforts definitely, I succeeded. I'm a board certified pediatric dentist and so to treat myself, of course, where did I go shopping? I believe it's on. Um, there was just one piece in particular that I, oh, there were three things that I, I picked up. Um, two of them I had to order online and one thing I was able to get in the store. I've been really loving crossbody bags. So while in the store, I thought I would pick up a mini pochette um, accessoires and it came packaged really lovely like this. I just love the drawer kind of packaging. Right. And uh, <clears throat> here it is. This is the Louis Vuitton mini pochette in Demier Azure and I actually uh, bought this and I've been kind of lusting after this for a couple of months because I have a favorite in Demier Azure and this is not really included in this haul but I'll just show you why I purchased the mini pochette. I bought this bag earlier in the spring and I have been like one of my, this is like one of my favorite crossbody bags. I absolutely, absolutely adore this bag. And so I wanted something to kind of coordinate or if you will match. And so I've been looking for something like this piece to use inside of the uh, the favorite. I had bought two of these on the pre-love market, but I've never been really fully satisfied with either one. Some of them had some pen marks, some of them, um, the leather was messed up. And so I decided to return one and then sell the other one. And I said, the next time, the third time, I'm not dealing with it. Like, And so I said, I was just gonna buy a brand new. This retails for uh, here in the States for $310 plus tax. 
The next two items that I purchased from Louis Vuitton, but they came packaged in these two boxes. And if you can tell from the size, maybe you can kind of guess what's in here. Again, it came in a lovely drawer box. And inside we have tissue paper with Louis Vuitton printed on it. And here is the beautiful, beautiful bandeau in the trunks print. And this is in the rose color. It's just a darling, darling bandeau. Like it's just so classy and beautiful. And um, I've actually used this, used this tied to my Neverfull just to kind of personalize it a bit. But of course, there are so many ways you can use this beautiful uh, piece. You can tie it in your hair like that. You can be around your neck with a lovely uh, white button down shirt. Uh, there are endless ways you can tie it on your wrist. You can tie it on uh, the handles of your bags. There is just beautiful and I was really lucky to get it because when I did want to get it, it was out of stock online as well. And uh, similar to that, the second item I got was also a bandeau. Okay, same packaging. I got this one in the brown color. Uh, that's what it was called online, but you can see it has like a cherry red color. So this one I got particularly to go with any of like my dummy or bin pieces, or even like monogram as well. I just thought it would look so beautiful next or tied onto it. So, so each of these beautiful bandos retailed for $165, uh, brand new. And thankfully I live in a state where there's no tax on clothing, so I didn't have to pay tax on either of those. So the next item, so the next two items I got on the pre-loved market and they both came in the older packaging, which was used you know, earlier uh, this year. And I already shared that I really loved the favorite MM in the uh, Damier Azure. And I just thought, you know, I had to have one, another one in the Damier Abin color. And so that you can see it right here. I absolutely, yes, yet again, love it. And I mean, just look at how vibrant this color is. It is just gorgeous to die for. Um, the seller I got it, this I actually purchased from eBay from an amazing seller. Um, there is one caveat to this, but there is a, a line going across. You can probably see it like right here. Okay, and sometimes these favorites, especially the when they originally were made in 2014, 2015, um, tend to have this defect that over time, you can start to, you can definitely see it here, a crease that just forms uh, on the canvas. And people believe it's perhaps due to the magnet. But either way, um, I was really kind of saddened when I bought this. Uh, and I saw it because it came with everything and thankfully one of my policies is that when I do buy pre-loved I always get the um, look for an item that has the receipt or at least a copy of the receipt um, because and something that was fairly you know not too old so I took it to my uh, local boutique and showed it to them and they weren't aware of any defect but they took photographs of it and they shipped it they um, uh, got in contact with their I guess department that does like all the reviews for repairs uh, in the country and they did find this bag to be defective and they just needed me to prove it with a receipt that I that you know that it was originally bought and thankfully I had the receipt uh, to show them and so they will be replacing this and I was approved for replacement so I will be returning uh, this one to Louis Vuitton hopefully sometime this week uh, because the store is about half an hour from me so I have to always just find time to make it over there but either way this is what I got pre-loved and when I get the new one I will definitely share um, you know, I'll share, uh, I'll go in a deeper review, but this is the favorite MM and Damier Abin, and this retails for $985 here in the States, and I was fortunate to pick this up for $700 on eBay, and I will be replacing this in, uh, for a brand new one, so that's kind of like a win-win there, if I would do say so myself. So we're winding down now. The last item that I got pre-loved also came in the, the older packaging. I don't know about you guys, but I love, like, I love this old packaging. I think it's so rich. I love the dark brown color, color against the contrasting, um, like, beige here. And with, like, the leather, like, ribbon, I just find it to be absolutely amazing. But um, I do like the orange and blue now, too, but it reminds me a little bit too much of Hermes. So, but either way, so this last... Uh, piece is an SOG that I picked up from uh, one of the groups on Facebook and uh, I wanted something to replace one of my Gwen Stefani uh, wallets that I've been using for years years like I think it must be like at least seven years and I wanted a full-size wallet and it came like, literally brand new the woman I bought it from used it about maybe twice and she just found out the size didn't work for her and I'm a fan of full-size wallets 
and the item I got was the Sarah wallet uh, in Retiro the Retiro edition of the Sarah wallet in the cherry color and when I got this I mean I have God has blessed me with the most amazing sellers who have genuine interest and in their buyers happiness and um, I, I mean it just came in pristine pr condition it has I mean the smell is like brand new and when I saw this um, in the store, I knew I, I wanted to get it. And I actually had planned for my friend in Spain to get it from me. But the uh, woman I was buying from was willing to meet me at the price I wanted. So I did buy it from her. And uh, it's just a beautiful full-size wallet. It has four credit card slots here. It has another uh, six on the inner flap here and six back here. There's a back pocket inside here. And if you didn't catch that, look at that beautiful monogram print right inside on both sides there. And then lastly, the zipper the zipper part is fully leather lined in the beautiful cherry leather. Uh, the stitching is also in red uh, stitching and you have the made in France embossed, uh, rather engraved right there. So this is a, a beautiful wallet and I highly recommend any Sarah wallet, whether it be this print or, or this um, design or any of them, if you like full size wallets, because it really is just a classic uh, piece and to have it with a bit, little bit of extra flair here, I, I just, I just, I, like I died. It's just amazingly beautiful and the quality and the construction is just impeccable. Uh, this retails brand new for $825 here in the States and I was able to pick it up from, uh, on the pre-loved market for $625. Okay, so that, so that brings me to the end of this video. I hope you enjoyed this Louis Vuitton haul. Eventually, I will definitely go into more review on each item specifically, how I pack my bags, uh, what I use them for, and do like detailed reviews and eventually like wear and tear videos. But that's it and that is what I've been loving and I'm gonna try to put myself on a little bit of a ban because Christmas time is coming and it's the time to not be buying for myself but to be giving to others including you all so stay tuned for that if you don't follow me on instagram or snapchat or twitter you should really do that because i'm highly entertaining and uh as with any video i put out the first 24 hours that you add me on snapchat i would definitely add you back or any platform for that matter so anyone who adds me on instagram twitter or uh snapchat i would definitely add you back for the first 24 hours that this video is live okay guys so thank you so much for watching i hope i will see you in my next video subscribe if you haven't and pray for me that i get a new camera or it's replaced or they figure it out and hopefully it doesn't cost too much or hopefully it's still in warranty i don't know what's gonna happen but we'll see ladies i hope you enjoyed have a wonderful week and i'll see you guys in my next video bye success